Celine is one of the most iconic and influential luxury fashion brands in the world. Since its founding in 1945, the brand has been at the forefront of the fashion industry, setting the standard for quality, craftsmanship, and timeless elegance. From its early focus on children's shoes to its innovative ready-to-wear collections and coveted IT bags, Celine has become a symbol of luxury, sophistication, and exclusivity. With a commitment to quality and a strong sense of identity, Celine has become a cult favorite among fashion insiders and a must-have for anyone seeking the ultimate in luxury fashion. But what makes Celine one of the most iconic and influential luxury fashion brands in the world? And why has Celine been at the forefront of the fashion industry for over 75 years? Welcome to our video exploring the fascinating history and enduring appeal of Celine, the iconic French fashion house that has been setting the standard for luxury fashion for over 75 years. Join us as we dive into the captivating story of Celine and discover what sets this iconic brand apart from its competitors and why it remains one of the most sought-after names in luxury fashion today. In 1945, Celine Vipiana and her husband Richard founded one of the first luxury fashion brands in the industry, Celine. The brand started as a made-to-measure children's shoe business and quickly gained popularity for its exceptional quality and craftsmanship. The couple opened their first boutique at 52 Rue Malte in Paris in 1948, offering a unique shopping experience that emphasized personalized service and attention to detail. One of the most recognizable aspects of the brand was its iconic logo, a red elephant created by the French artist Raymond Painet. The logo became synonymous with the brand's values of elegance, sophistication, and whimsy, and helped to establish Celine as a unique and innovative fashion house. As the brand grew in popularity, Celine shifted its focus towards ready-to-wear fashion for women with a sportswear approach in 1960, expanding from children's shoes to a more diverse range of products. The brand's minimalist aesthetic focused on functionality and simplicity in their designs for women's shoes and handbags. Celine's commitment to quality and craftsmanship remained unwavering, with leather goods and clothing items meticulously crafted using only the highest quality materials. In 1964, Celine expanded its offerings with a new fragrance called Vent Fu and a collection of accessories called American Sulky, featuring leather bags, belts, and other accessories with a sporty, equestrian-inspired aesthetic. These products helped establish Celine's reputation as a unique and innovative luxury brand. In the years that followed, the trench coat became the chief product of the house, with Celine offering a range of styles and colors that were both practical and stylish. The brand's commitment to quality and craftsmanship was evident in the exceptional design and construction of each trench coat, which made them a must-have item for fashion-conscious consumers. Celine's success with leather goods prompted the brand to open a leather goods factory in Florence, Italy. This move allowed Celine to further expand its offerings and solidify its reputation as a luxury brand with a focus on quality and craftsmanship. In 1973, Celine's redesigned logo featuring the intertwined sea sulky canvas and the Arc de Triomphe became a symbol for Parisians. And with the opening of boutiques in Monte Carlo, Geneva, Hong Kong, and Beverly Hills, Celine established itself as a global brand while maintaining its commitment to quality and craftsmanship. Each boutique provided a luxurious shopping experience, reflecting the brand's dedication to excellence. Celine's dedication to giving back is exemplified through the establishment of the Celine Pasteur Prize in 1973 by Richard Vipiana, the husband of the brand's founder. The prize supports medical research, development of new treatments, and the training of healthcare professionals, with annual awards presented to individuals who have made significant contributions to the field of medicine. This prize quickly became highly respected and coveted within the medical community. In 1987, the luxury fashion conglomerate LVMH made a strategic decision to buy into Celine's capital, recognizing the brand's potential for growth and success in the luxury fashion market. The move proved to be a wise one, as Celine continued to thrive under the guidance and support of LVMH. However, it wasn't until 1996 that Celine was fully integrated into the LVMH group, in a deal worth 2.7 billion French francs, approximately $540 million. 
This integration allowed Celine to benefit from LVMH's extensive resources and expertise in the luxury fashion industry, and helped to propel the brand to even greater heights of success. One of the most significant moves made by LVMH to promote the Celine brand was the opening of a flagship boutique at 36 Avenue Montaigne in Paris. This boutique quickly became a must-visit destination for luxury consumers from around the world and helped to establish Celine as a truly global brand with a strong presence in the fashion capital of the world. Under LVMH's ownership, Celine has benefited from increased investment, resources, and marketing support, which has allowed the brand to expand its global reach and appeal. LVMH has also played a key role in ensuring that Celine maintains its commitment to quality and craftsmanship, which is a hallmark of the brand's identity. In addition to Celine, LVMH owns a number of other high-profile fashion and luxury brands, including Louis Vuitton, Dior, Fendi, Givenchy, and Bulgari. LVMH's portfolio of brands represents some of the most prestigious and influential names in the fashion industry, and the company is known for its ability to successfully manage and grow luxury brands. If you are interested in the brands of LVMH and other luxury brands, make sure to visit our channel after watching this video. Overall, LVMH's ownership of Celine has been a key factor in the brand's success and longevity as a luxury fashion house. The company's resources, expertise, and commitment to quality have helped to ensure that Celine remains one of the most iconic and influential luxury brands in the world. Celine Vipiana was the driving force behind the success of the Celine brand and remained its chief designer from its founding in 1945 until her death in 1997. Her unique design vision and commitment to quality and craftsmanship helped to establish Celine as a true icon of luxury fashion, and her legacy continues to inspire and influence the brand to this day. Throughout her career, Vipiana was known for her understated and sophisticated approach to fashion. Her designs were characterized by clean lines, simple silhouettes, and a focus on quality materials and craftsmanship. She was also a trailblazer for women in the fashion industry, and her success inspired countless others to pursue their own careers in fashion design. Although Vipiana passed away in 1997, her influence on the Celine brand continues to be felt to this day. Her commitment to quality and craftsmanship remains a guiding principle for the brand, and her unique design aesthetic continues to inspire and influence the brand's designers and creative directors. In the following years, the brand went through a series of changes in leadership and creative direction. After Peggy Hoon Kin modernized Celine as artistic director in 1988, the brand introduced seasonal accessory collections, constantly pushing the boundaries of luxury fashion. In 1997, Michael Kors became creative director, establishing Celine as a contemporary luxury icon with sleek designs and quality craftsmanship. Though Coors left in 2004, Celine's commitment to timeless design and quality remained constant throughout its history of leadership changes. In 2005, the Celine brand underwent another change in creative leadership with the appointment of Italian designer Roberto Menichetti as creative director. Menichetti's designs focused on quality materials, attention to detail, and timeless design, establishing Celine as a true icon of luxury fashion. The following year, Ivana Omazic took over as director of the design studio, continuing to innovate with understated elegance and subtle details. However, her tenure was short-lived, as she left in 2008 after a series of disappointments for the brand. In 2008, Celine underwent another significant change in creative leadership with the appointment of British fashion designer Phoebe Philo as the brand's new creative director. Phoebe Philo's appointment as creative director of Celine in 2008 was a significant moment for the brand. Philo was a respected and innovative designer who had previously worked at Chloe, where she had received critical acclaim for her designs. Philo brought a fresh perspective to Celine, which had been struggling to find its footing in the competitive luxury fashion industry. Her aesthetic was characterized by a focus on clean lines, minimalist designs, and practicality. Philo was known for her attention to detail and her ability to create clothes that were both beautiful and wearable. 
Under Philo's leadership, Celine's collections quickly gained popularity among fashion insiders, with her designs resonating with women who were looking for stylish and functional pieces for their wardrobe. One of Philo's most significant contributions to Celine was the introduction of the It bags, which quickly became a status symbol among fashion-conscious women. Philo's approach to design was not only about creating beautiful clothes, but also about empowering women. She designed clothes that allowed women to move and be active while still looking stylish. Her focus on practicality and functionality was a reflection of her belief that fashion should serve the needs of women, not the other way around. Philo's tenure at Celine was marked by critical and commercial success, with her designs receiving widespread praise and attention from the fashion world. Her departure from the brand in 2017 was a significant loss for Celine, but her influence and legacy continue to be felt in the brand's minimalist aesthetic and commitment to quality and craftsmanship. Following Phoebe Philo's departure from Celine in December 2017, LVMH announced the appointment of Hedy Slimane as the brand's new artistic, creative, and image director on January 21, 2018. Hedy Slimane's appointment as creative director of Celine in 2018 was a controversial move that sparked a significant backlash among fans and fashion insiders. Slimane, who had previously served as creative director of Saint Laurent, was known for his edgy and rock and roll aesthetic, which was seen as a departure from Celine's minimalist and understated style. Many fans and critics were disappointed with the announcement of Slimane's appointment, as they felt that it signaled a departure from the brand's legacy under Phoebe Philo. Philo's tenure at Celine had been marked by critical and commercial success, and her minimalist aesthetic had made the brand a cult favorite among fashion insiders. The announcement of Slimane's appointment was seen as a departure from this aesthetic, and many fans feared that he would change the brand's identity and values. One of the most significant changes that Slimane made was the introduction of a new logo. The new logo, which replaced the previous logo designed by Phoebe Philo, was criticized by some for its simplicity and lack of originality. The new logo featured a sans-serif font and the removal of the accent on the E in Celine, which was seen by some as a departure from the brand's identity and values. Despite the backlash, Slimane's first collection for Celine was well-received by some critics, with many praising his edgy and youthful designs. However, others criticized the collection for being too similar to his work at Saint Laurent and for failing to capture the essence of Celine's minimalist aesthetic. Today, the controversy surrounding Slimane's appointment has died down somewhat, but there is still debate among fans and critics about his impact on the brand. While some see his appointment as a positive change that has brought new energy and creativity to Celine, others feel that it has signaled a departure from the brand's legacy and values. Now that we know more about the history of Celine, it's time to take a closer look at its products and why they are so expensive. Here are five essential Celine pieces that manifested the company's position as a luxury brand. Coming in at number one, luggage tote. One of the most iconic Celine products is the Luggage Tote, which was first introduced in 2010 under the direction of Phoebe Philo. The bag features a structured silhouette and distinctive flared wings and has become a staple for fashion enthusiasts around the world. Number 2. Trapeze Bag Another iconic Celine bag is the Trapeze Bag, which was introduced in 2011 and quickly became a favorite among fashion insiders. The bag features a unique trapezoidal shape and a distinctive flap closure and is available in a wide range of colors and materials. Number 3. Classic Box Bag The Classic Box Bag is a timeless Celine design that has been in production since the 1970s. The bag features a simple structured silhouette and a distinctive push-lock closure and is available in a variety of sizes and materials. Number 4. Cabas Tote the Cabas Tote is a versatile Celine bag that has become a favorite among fashion enthusiasts around the world. The bag features a simple, structured silhouette and a roomy interior, and is available in a range of colors and materials. Last but not least, number 5. Celine Sunglasses Celine is also known for its range of stylish and innovative sunglasses, which feature unique designs and high-quality materials. 
The brand's sunglasses have become a must-have accessory for fashion enthusiasts around the world. Overall, Celine has created many iconic products over the years that are loved by fashion enthusiasts around the world. From bags to sunglasses, the brand's products are known for their innovative design, high-quality materials, and timeless appeal. There is something all Celine pieces have in common. Celine is known for its commitment to quality and craftsmanship, which has been a hallmark of the brand since its founding. One of the key factors in Celine's commitment to quality and craftsmanship is its focus on using the best materials. The brand sources materials from all over the world, including Italy, France, and Switzerland, and it is known for its use of luxurious fabrics such as leather, cashmere, and silk. Celine also places a strong emphasis on sustainability and ethical sourcing, and it works with suppliers who share its values. In addition to using high-quality materials, Celine also employs skilled craftsmen to create its products. The brand's products are often made by hand, with each piece receiving close attention to detail and quality control. Celine's craftsmen are trained in traditional techniques and have years of experience in their respective fields, which allows them to create products that are both beautiful and functional. Celine's marketing strategy focuses on creating an exclusive brand image that appeals to luxury consumers who value innovation and design. The brand's use of limited edition products, such as the luggage tote and trapeze bag, creates a sense of exclusivity and rarity for customers. This approach creates a sense of urgency for customers who know they are investing in something exclusive and valuable. Limited production runs also allow Celine to maintain control over its brand image and values while avoiding overproduction and waste. Celine's marketing also relies heavily on its image and reputation as a luxury fashion brand. The brand's advertising campaigns feature high-end models and photographers and often highlight the brand's signature minimalist aesthetic and attention to detail. The brand also uses social media platforms like Instagram to showcase its latest designs and collaborations and to connect with its followers and fans. In recent years, Celine has recognized the importance of appealing to younger consumers in order to stay relevant and maintain its position as a leading luxury fashion brand. One way the brand has done this is by collaborating with popular musicians and artists to create limited edition collections that appeal to a younger demographic. One of the most notable collaborations in recent years was with rapper Travis Scott, who worked with Celine's creative director Hedy Slimane to create a menswear collection that combined Celine's minimalist aesthetic with Scott's edgy streetwear-inspired style. The collection featured a range of pieces, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, leather jackets, and denim, and was released as a limited edition collection in November 2019. The collaboration was well-received by both fashion enthusiasts and music fans, with many praising the collection for its unique blend of luxury and streetwear. The collection sold out quickly and was a major success for Celine, and was well-received by both fashion enthusiasts and music fans. Overall, Celine's high price point is a reflection of its commitment to quality, craftsmanship, and exclusivity, as well as its values and identity as a luxury fashion brand and its marketing. While the higher price point may not be valued by everyone, it appeals to luxury consumers who are willing to invest in items that are built to last and are associated with prestige and exclusivity. In conclusion, Celine's history and impact on the fashion industry are marked by its commitment to quality, craftsmanship, and exclusivity. From its early focus on children's shoes to its innovative ready-to-wear collections and coveted it bags, Celine has continued to evolve and set the standard for luxury fashion over the course of its 75-year history. Whether it's Phoebe Philo's minimalist aesthetic or Hedy Slimane's edgy designs, Celine's ability to stay relevant and influential over the years is a testament to the brand's strong sense of identity and values. With its exclusivity factor, limited production runs, and focus on quality over flash and ostentation, Celine continues to be a must-have for luxury consumers who are seeking the ultimate in timeless elegance and sophistication. What is your opinion on Celine? What are your favorite pieces of its collection? Do you prefer Celine or other luxury brands? Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.
If you like to see more videos about luxury brands and their history, make sure to subscribe and visit our channel. Thank you for watching. We see you in the next one. Bye-bye.